A celebration of sorts in Cleveland tonight. A live look at the Horseshoe Casino, which opened its doors to the public one year ago tonight. Now, in that time, the casino has generated $55 million in payroll, paid out $49 million in jackpots, and spread nearly $2.5 million in comps at the local restaurants. The Horseshoe General Manager says the first year has been a success, and they are now in the process of looking forward to Phase 2, which he says will be happening. We've had a year to really get feedback and to see um, how people took to Horseshoe Cleveland. And so that when you come with the Phase 2 casino, you, you have a much better idea of what to program inside of that casino. Last week, owner Dan Gilbert tweeted word that Phase 2 will be revealed in the coming months and that it's more important to get it right than to rush it. News Channel 5's John Kosick is live at the casino tonight, which is marking its birthday by giving away a million dollars worth of free slot play this month, John. That's right, Chris. That prize to be awarded later this month. And earlier tonight at 6, we introduced you to a, a local guy who won an Aston Martin in a similar contest last fall. But tonight, we wanted you to meet a retired school administrator who found himself staring at a $100,000 blackjack jackpot. Casinos are social places. After all, in most cases, it is the customer against the house. In January, for Dave Lewis, though, that wasn't the case. When you're in the casino playing normally, you don't, you kind of like the other players winning. It's, you know, it's, it's nice and everything, but here you're playing against them. Yes, Lewis had just entered a winner-take-all $100,000 blackjack tournament, taking on around 300 others in the all-day four-round contest. After advancing in the first two rounds, it dawned on him. I'm like, holy cow, I could I could get to the finals here um, and still end up with nothing, just like if I would have got knocked out in the first round. As round three was ending, though, advancing didn't look like a possibility. I had to get a blackjack on the very last hand in order to advance, and I got a blackjack on the last hand. The luck didn't stop in the finals. Well, I was thinking how I was going to screw it up, you know, because <laughs> I figured I got this big lead. You know, my wife's standing behind me. She can't really see a whole lot because there were so many people there. Uh, but I turned and said something to her. I said, I, I, I'm pretty sure I got this uh, wrapped up. And, and she's like, what, what? The tournament was his. So what did it feel like to win $100,000? He doesn't know. Before the last round, the finalists made a pact. The guys and I, we stepped aside, we chopped it up a little bit. We, we took the first 50 and said the winner gets the 50, and then the other 50, we each take 10 out of it. So I ended up getting about 60 grand out of it. It's just nice to know that you know, some of the, maybe the things that you put on the back burner you could, you could afford to do now. Dave was saying things were pretty tense going into that final round before the guys made the pact, and then the mood lightened up. One of the names we didn't mention in the divvying up of the pot, though, Uncle Sam, he got a sizable chunk, Dave says. Reporting live at the Horseshoe Casino, John Kosick, News Channel 5.